This is a early 80s two-door Range Rover Classic. As you can probably tell, two doors rather than four doors like the blue one that we did and like another gray one that's currently coming in. We have obviously electrified it, being electric car converts, that's what we do. We do this to Defenders, Range Rovers, Series Land Rovers, etc. Um, but you'll also notice that it's a beautiful respray in an original two door color. Um, it's got a full mechanical restoration underneath, so it's got new um, diffs, axles, suspension, brakes, literally everything under new, underneath is new. Um, the interior hasn't yet been done. That'll be done with the client when it goes back to them shortly, because we're out testing at the moment. But ultimately, an absolutely lovely electric conversion that's, that we've just completed. So to talk you through it, we have a Felton 55 kilowatt hour battery pack up the front. Um, now Felton make these in Bristol in the UK. Uh, we buy obviously a lot of them um, to put in Defender series Range Rovers exclusively. We now pretty much don't do any non Land Rover cars. Um, so 55 kilowatt hours in this, because it's more streamlined than a Defender and it's got thinner tires than a Defender, it's doing well over 150 miles. Um, that's not if you drive it like Lewis Hamilton, that is if you drive it gently and sort of don't go over 50, 60 mile an hour. Um, but I think that's a pretty good range in a car like this. Obviously it will charge up then in 20, 25 minutes if you want it to at a rapid charger, whether that be at the motorway service station. Um, supermarkets often have them now. So they're, they're coming into, into place quite a lot. So then you could plug it in, do another 150 miles if you wanted to after you'd had your coffee or your McDonald's or whatever it may be. So, you don't really need more than 55 kilowatt hours because if you were to drive to Newcastle from us here in Brighton, you probably wouldn't go in an electric car, even you wouldn't even go in a brand new normal Tesla because you still have to charge. And let's be honest, charging on the road is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, so in here, we've also got two radiator systems, two header tanks, um, one cooling the battery pack, which is, Really, you're only cooling the battery pack during charging. So if you can imagine when you're charging, rapid charging especially, you could be pulling, I don't know, 200 odd amps into the battery pack constantly for 20, 25 minutes. That's going to generate heat. Whereas when you're driving, you would accelerate hard. And then to keep it at 50, 60 mile an hour, you're not really using anything like 200 amps. So really the cooling is for charging. Um, but we've also got motor cooling, a motor running, what, 400, 400 volts is going to get hot when it's, you know, when you're pulling a lot of current through it in power and in acceleration, but also when you're putting the reverse through it, when it's in generator mode or regen mode, it's also generating heat. So that's what those little radiators do. They're very small. In fact, you can come and see them here. They're just little motorbike radiators sitting in there. Um, whereas of course, well, a couple of months ago, this car was, uh, Rover V8. Um, so the radiator was about that big and it's still overheat the whole time. So hence, here we are. In fact, this car, when it came to us, it was actually bought by the owner at Bonhams at an auction. Um, and it had a beautifully restored petrol V8 in it. It's actually for sale. So if anyone needs a Rover V8, you can let us know and you can probably buy it off the owner. It's beautiful restored. He drove it all over like a hundred miles with that in it and just thought, I think the fuel pump broke. And he just thought, you know, he's stuck on the side of the road, forget it. Let's just rip the Band-Aid off and go electric now. And I think he's pretty pleased that he did because it's an absolute beauty. Um, other things in here we've got, uh, this is our fuse box cover. So the Felton box is this bit. We then put all of our fuses and uh, relays and all that kind of stuff under there. So it's all in one place. It's all on the box, which is important when we send kits out to the America, for example. Um, we don't want to put a fuse box there because then we'd have to run wiring, which is just, there's no need for that kind of added, added complication. So that's all in there, connected to the box and is talking to the box, connecting the box to the cooling systems, to the motor, to the gauges inside. So that all comes out on one loom. We've also got power steering under here and a brake vacuum. Um, but other than that, that's the sort of basics of, of under the bonnet. Um, you can see it's pretty tidy. We're quite pleased with this one. So coming around this side, you can see we're actually at a beautiful hotel in Horse 
what is this called? Horsted Hotel or something like that. Um, very nice background. We're just sort of pretending in the garden, pretending we might go for a meal. But I think when you're driving around in one of these, people don't really stop you. So this may be private land, but what can you do? Charging. That's your Type 2. Toby, our engineer, made this. We're very pleased with this. How beautiful does that look? So that's Type 2. So that's normal charging on a lamp post or on your, on your um, three-pin socket in your house or your... I don't know if Americans have two-pin sockets, but of any socket. And then when you come in there, that's DC charging. So that's your super fast charging. Um, these two there, they're directly connected to the plus and minus of the battery. So you shouldn't lick your fingers and touch them. Um, although if you did, it wouldn't actually do anything right now because obviously the car's off. So the, the, the HV system is off. Um, so you can go around touching that all you want, but I don't recommend it because why would you? Inside is, well, all we've actually done in here is put gauges in. So obviously in the original binnacle there, we've got original lights on the indicators, etc. but you've got amp draw, you've got um, miles per hour. And then on that side in the middle there, you've got battery level and battery temperature, as well as the selector just below it. So that's the gear selection, obviously because you have no gearbox anymore. So that's all, that's just been dynamated over and it will be carpeted and all this leather will be replaced by the owner. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not like a big iPad on the dash or anything like that. You could have that if you wanted it, but we just like to keep it analog, like to keep it looking fairly original. And then you can actually pull out your phone, which isn't in my pocket, but that you can then go through and change your power settings, change your regen settings. Um, we're also working on a system which will update all of our cars on that you'll be able to look at the battery management. So you'll be able to see what's happening in the big gray Felton box up the front. Um, so pretty cool if you want to see how many charge cycles you've done, for example, exactly how many volts you're sitting at, um, if you care, which to be honest, you shouldn't because the car's smarter than you. It knows before you that it needs to do something and then we'll do that. For example, it will turn the fans on on the cooling system if it's feeling it's getting too hot before it even tells you on the temperature gauge that it's getting too hot. So we're kind of just the passenger in all of this. Um, so that's inside. What else? She's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, we've been driving it around and there's not 60 in 5.2 seconds. So it's wild. Underneath it's got an LSD in it. So you can also do not 60 in 5.2 seconds in the wet or probably not on grass because it's still going to slip. Like this is a lot of horsepower. It's 280 horsepower um, going through a new gear set um, because obviously the motor is sitting in the middle of the car. It's a Tesla Model 3 motor. Um, in fact, if I grab the camera, I might be able to show you that because you know what I'm like. There's no secrets with electric car converts. Um, uh, there we go. Can you see that? The motor there. And you can also see how beautifully new it all is under here. Maybe. I don't know. We're not professional videographers. We are professional EV converters. So that's the, um, that's the Range Rover. This has been a labor of love. We absolutely adore this car. So if any of you out there have got a two door and you want it, you know, electrified, I guess it really looks like this. The only thing you would know from the outside is that the, the fuel filler cap is no longer the authentic, I think it's almost a cast iron thing. So it's a bit of a shame, but a fuel filler is circular. A DC wrapper charger is not circular. So you're better off having DC wrapper charging and not having your flappy filler thing. Um, so that's the car. Is there anything else I should talk about on it? If you have got any questions, just put them in the comments. You know me, I'll get back to you. Or give me a ring. My number is 07413 296 293. Um, we do kits. We can, ship this. we can ship a kit with this to America. We can't ship your car to America because you have to ship a car with an original engine in it. Um, but these are very quickly becoming more popular than Defenders for our clients to convert. Um, and when you're driving it around and you feel it's, it feels so luxury and it's so quiet, I kind of get why that is. Um, I won't take you for a drive. You've been for a drive in many of these before. They all are the same. And that is part of who we are is that we've really simplified things. So Felton battery box, Model 3 motor underneath, even down to the wiring loom and the cooling system is the same in everything we do. Same in the Range Rover Classic, same in a four-door, same in a Defender, same in a long wheelbase Defender, whatever it may be. 
So that is why we're churning these out so quickly. In fact, I've just targeted my team to do more than one a month. At the moment, we do one a month. If, if we do a couple more, maybe say do 15 a year, better and better and better. Our waiting list will come down at the moment. Our waiting list, we're booking in November, December slots at the moment. So, you know, and it's March, it's Easter. So believe it or not, I know it's boiling. Um, so that also is a bit of a crucial thing because we can only start you in November if you were to buy one of these, which somebody just did. It's actually getting sent to Italy, but somebody's just bought one. He's now got six months to restore the car before it gets to us. Um, now, that helps us a lot because obviously we need to be quite efficient in and out, not messing around with respray and whatever. Um, so you have a chance to restore your car now. There's no rush with it at all. Enjoy your car over the summer and we'll play with it in the winter. Um, but yeah, why don't you get a little wrap around of the car and then we'll wrap up. Thanks for watching. I'm Barnaby. This is Electric Car Converts. Check us out on Instagram. You're already on YouTube. Check out our website. Our pricing is even on the website. You can find out exactly how much this is. I'll give you a hint. It's 50,000 pounds. Thanks for watching. See you next time.